call now. We're going to move on and check in on how bond markets are trading. Jonathan Sheridan from Fixed Securities is with us this afternoon. Jonathan, uh, very good to see you there. Tell us how the bond market is trading. A lot obviously happening around the, the globe in Italy and New Zealand. Have we seen much movement in the bond market? Good afternoon, Leanne. Yes, you're right. Look, there are a couple of big data points uh, out on Friday night, in particular the non-farm payrolls in the States. And then, as you mentioned, we've had the Australian, uh, sorry, Austrian election and the uh, Italian referendum come through this morning, as well as, uh, as you were just talking about, John Key's resignation. So a lot of things happening globally. I think, uh, to be honest, the most important was probably the non-farm payrolls for bond markets, at least, showing that uh, whilst the headline number was strong, some of the underlying components were not so strong, in particular the wage growth just coming out in the sort of low to mid twos uh, on an annualised basis. So that resulted in the US Treasury market being pretty well bid and we saw 10-year yields down by about five or six points, which has just carried through into our market today. Do you get the feeling the post-Trump sell-off was a little overdone? How are you adjusting your exposures? Yeah, I do actually. I think that that's the case. Um, there was a pretty big knee-jerk reaction, as uh, no doubt um, you will have talked about over the last two or three weeks. We saw government bond yields sell off um, fairly rapidly, uh, although that was only actually a, a relatively small drop in capital price, showing that you know bonds are still a resilient asset class. But um, I think that you know, given the difficulties that there will be translating you know potential policies into actual policies and then to actual job creation and the inflation and wage pressure that, that may well come with that I think the knee-jerk reaction has been too much and so we've been just doing some sectoral rotation given the commodities rally and and there's lots of commentary out of investment banks that uh, coal in particular might uh, might have seen a top and so we're just selling things like the BHP 2025 call hybrids uh, and moving into, for example, subordinated debt from QBE. All right, fantastic. Jonathan, we'll leave it there, but I do appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Thanks, Leanne. Jonathan Sheridan there now. Quick final thought from